So today I'm going to be showing you how to operate and turn on this LED projector set out of an Infinity Q70. So we're going to turn on both the low beam, the high beam, and I'll show you both the low and high function of the daytime running light. So to do this, over here I've just got a simple 12 volt bench power supply that I've had for at least 15 years thing still works great. So let me pull this up and give you some close up. Um, here is the OED ballast that's going to operate the low and high beam. And this here is the little controller that operates the daytime running light as well as the the side light and the here would be the um, the little light bar that runs across the top of the light. So here is our plug that we're going to be dealing with. Uh, we will be using the black plug and not the gray plug today. And we will see that this plug has seven connectors, three on one side, and four on the other. And we'll flip this over so we can kind of see the colors. So on the, the three, three connector side we have what I'm calling peach, green, and red. And on the four connector side we have, let's see if we can get this to focus, we have white, black, blue, and yellow. Okay, there we go. So we don't need the gray connector for this testing. We're going to be focused on this black one. And um, just for clarification, this is an AFS headlight. Um, so the wiring is going to be slightly different than a non-AFS. And AFS just really means that it's going to turn. All right. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my power supply. And we're going to start with the daytime running light, low functionality, where we are going to connect our ground to the white wire and our positive to the peach wire. So here on the bottom row four and directly next to it is going to be the, the peach. And here you can see that that also operates the light bar as well as the side LED. Okay. So I'm going to disconnect the positive from that. And to operate the daytime running light high, it, the ground is still the white wire, but the positive is going to switch over to this yellow wire. And you can see that once we have that connected, that this light is on and we have a much brighter light as well as we still have the light bar but now we don't have the side LED. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect my positive, disconnect my negative, and for the high and low beams, again it shares a ground which is going to be this black wire which is on directly next to the white wire that we had grounded. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the black and for the high beam we need to put power to this green wire. And there's the high beam turned on. Alright, so then to operate the, the low beam again we're going to leave the black wire connected and we're going to put positive here to our red wire. Then once I can get this connected good, which apparently I can't, um, so now we can see that our low beam is connected. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this and shut off my power supply. 
and now we can see that the LEDs are all functional on this projector set. So, you know, hopefully this helps you out if you're doing a retrofit using one of these. Um, I'm mostly kind of doing this for future reference when next time I get one of these, uh, I can never remember the, the wiring on this, but hopefully this helps you out. So.